how to turn Dollar Tree items into luxurious looking wall decor. Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off with Dollar Tree plates. And I'm using this color so that it will be a little bit different from what I'm used to. Before I go any further, I want you guys to know that I have other plate DIYs that I have made over the years since 2017. And the link for all those videos are going to be down in the description box below. This DIY is so easy to make and it makes a bold statement on the wall. What I did first was to add foam boards together with tape. And now I'm going to be placing the plates first. And then after that, I will add the bowls. And when I'm okay with the pattern that I've made, I'll glue them all to the foam board. Because I'm using purple, I got purple tape from the Dollar Tree and I'll be using this on the edges of the foam board. I'll be adding another tape besides it so that it would cover the space that would show. And because the board that I'm using is really large, I use two tapes to cover up the edges. Now that I have that in place, all I'm going to be doing now is applying hot glue to the plates and attaching them to the board. I'm also going to be applying hot glue to the bowls and attaching them in between the plates. The overall wall decor is light in weight, so I'm going to be mounting this on the wall with a mounting tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is what all the plates and bowls look like on the wall in purple. I really love the fact that I have purple on this wall. But of course, if you're not comfortable with a bold color, you can also spray paint it to the color of your choice. This is what it looks like in gold. Now I have other DIYs that I've done with plates like I said earlier in the video, and this is a short clip of most of the DIYs that I have made using plates. And I did those DIYs over the years since 2017. For those of you who have been following me all this while, you would have seen that I made lots of plate DIYs and they're super easy to make. Now the link for all of them are going to be down in the description box below. When you're satisfied with a pattern that you've made and you mount it on the wall, it will look like 3D wall panels. For the next set of the wall decor ideas, I'll be making multiple patterns with tape and contact paper. Now, a lot of you have been asking me why I start with foam boards on the wall first before attaching the contact paper. Now, I want to let you guys know that this is the reason why my walls are not smooth. One, two, I live in an apartment. If I have a whole lot of wallpaper on the wall, taking it off, I'm pretty sure some parts of the paint is going to come off. Now, what I'm going to be doing, like I do for my other projects, is to attach the foam boards to the wall before then applying the contact paper. Now, if you have a smooth wall at home, you can skip the part of attaching the foam boards and just attach it directly to the wall. Now, if you live in a rental, you have to make sure that the paint that's on the smooth wall is not going to come off when you take off the contact paper. The foam boards can be attached to the wall using command strips or tack nails. Mm -hmm. 
I use the really small ones that kind of look like thumbtacks on the wall, but without the caps. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using a white contact paper on this to cover up where all the foam boards meet. Now the person who requested for this particular DIY had an issue with having consistency in the pattern. So I'm going to show you an idea on how to have that consistency throughout the pattern by cutting out the shape that you want on a foam board and then using it as your guide as you go along making the pattern. This square is 18 inches on all four sides and then diagonally it's 25 inches. So because it's too much of a square, I'm going to reduce the diagonal length from 25 inches to 16 inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and trace out the shape on the boards. You guys may not be able to see this because I'm making very thin marks to make sure that it doesn't show too much when I'm done with the design. This is the tape that I'll be using for this project and it's used for walls and for floors as well. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. Now you can also have contact paper cut to the size that you want. I'm going to be measuring two inches in between and making marks on them to guide me on where to continue attaching the tapes. As I'm attaching the tapes, I'm also going to be cutting out the edges to make sure that it aligns to the line that I have already drawn that's from the cutout foam board. I'm using a sharp exacto knife to give me nice clean cuts. When I was done with this, I then went ahead to start the other project, which is also a requested video. This is the space that I'm going to have it done. And all I did was to attach foam boards on the wall and then use duct tape to cover up where they're being attached together. This is marble contact paper that I'm going to be attaching on the foam boards instead of just leaving it black. That's going to look exactly like the picture that was sent to me, but I prefer to use marble because it's going to give it a more sophisticated look. 
the gold pattern that's going to be on that wall will be made with full board cutouts. I'll be cutting out squares and making frames out of those squares and attaching them to the wall. I also cut random pieces that I'll be using for the design as well. Here's another self-adhesive tape that's in gold and it's also used for walls and floors. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm also going to be using silver tape for this design as well and the link is also going to be down in the description box below. I'll be starting with the silver tape because that's going to be attached directly to the marble contact paper. I glued two frames like this and then after I'm done I'm going to be gluing them to the marble contact paper. After attaching it I'm now going to be using the self-adhesive gold tape over it. Now you can do it like this or you can have the tape attached to the squares before attaching it to the marble contact paper. It's all up to you. A lot of you might be wondering why I didn't just use tape directly on the wall. Now I needed this design to have a lot of depth and contrast on the wall and not just staying flat. But the truth is from afar it's hard to tell. But it's going to be nice when you come closer to it and see some kind of contrast and some kind of depth. Here's what it looks like when I was done. Now I love this, it is so pretty and I wish I did it on a larger wall because this was really cheap to make and easy as well. Here's what the first design looks like and I love the monochromatic scheme that's going on with the black and white. I also wish I did this on a larger wall because I really love the way it looks. It took me about five hours to make both walls and look at that. It has just transformed some bare empty walls that I had before into something much more luxurious looking. For the next DIY I'm going to be starting off with foam boards as well and I'll be making cuts and joining all the pieces together with tape. I'll be adding gold tape around the edges so that when I'm done with the project, it's not white. For this project, I'll be making use of Dollar Tree table mats. The mats will be attached together and I'll be making sure that they align with one another. As you can see here, it's a little bit off. So I'll turn it to the other side and make sure that both patterns meet. And then I'm going to continue that way for all the mats. I will be joining them together with transparent tape to keep them in place as I continue with the project.
I'll make marks at the opening in between all the mats. And on those openings, I'm gonna be attaching contact paper that's gray so that the place where they meet will not be too obvious when it's on the wall. I cut pieces from a contact paper, but then you can also use gray tape to cover up the spaces. This will be mounted on the wall with mounting tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. The table mat can be attached while the boards are on the floor or you can have it mounted on the wall first before attaching the table mats. And the table mats can be attached to the boards with school glue. I'll still use transparent tape to hold the table mats to the boards while the glue dries. I'll be making decorative patterns with tape on the table mats. I added a wider gold tape to the design. When I was done, I added tape at the bottom. Now you can do this while the board is still on the floor before having it on the wall. This was my mistake. That's why the tape was added last. All of the wall designs shown in this video are not just pretty and affordable, but they're also super easy to make as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.